Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and we are now one day away from the official reveal of Modern Warfare 3. With that being said, Activision decided to put out a new blog post today, which gives us some more details about Modern Warfare 3, confirming some of the leaks that we've heard previously, while also teasing things that are going to be happening tomorrow. They also make some very bold and interesting claims about the development of Modern Warfare 3, so let's just go ahead and jump into this, because, yeah, you guys are going to find this really interesting. So going to the blog post, there's a link to that down there in the description, if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. It says right here at the tippy top, our vision to deliver back to back modern warfare games has been years in the making. That's interesting. I kind of just thought this was going to be a, like an update, like a DLC, essentially, for Modern Warfare 2. From the start of development across both Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, Sledgehammer Games has worked closely with Infinity Ward to create a blockbuster sequel in the Modern Warfare series, featuring the return of iconic heroes and villains alike. Players will be able to grow closer to the characters, delve deeper into the storylines, and continue to build out progression and loadouts without interruption. Again, that's just really interesting to me because they're claiming that this is always the plan, which is definitely some marketing on their part but of course we don't know anything officially besides this we've heard the leaks we've heard the rumors we've heard from the industry insiders but we never got official confirmation of any of this they're now saying that this was always the plan i'm not entirely sure that it was but let's continue on here each title released represents an epic experience that stands on its own in terms of unique gameplay and innovation modern warfare 3 however pays off what the previous titles have set up that's kind of tying into the modern warfare 2 maps that we talked about yesterday it's poised to settle old scores and start new ones with back-to-back -back premium releases we are truly thrilled for what the future holds for modern warfare and call of duty they're putting in premium release right there letting you know that the game will indeed be 70 dollars while tomorrow is only the beginning our teams have set their sights to create an incredible premium they're going to keep saying that annual game experience across campaign multiplayer and cooperative modes as well as deep integration with call of duty warzone a few highlights of what we're most excited about for the first time ever a direct sequel in back-to-back -back years, delivering an all-new campaign that marks the return of Makarov. With Carry Forward, players can continue to enjoy player inventory and weapon progression from last year's Modern Warfare 2 and this year's all-new Modern Warfare 3. That's stuff we knew about. Did somebody say zombies? More information coming soon on the new Modern Warfare Zombies, the largest zombies offering to date. Of course, they say stuff like that every single year. When they're saying largest, I think they're talking about the leaks and rumors that zombies and Modern Warfare 3 is going to essentially be Outbreak 2.0, the open world zombies mode that, of course, we had back in Black Ops Cold War. So we're going to have to wait and see. They're going to be revealing zombies tomorrow. That's definitely interesting. New open combat missions and campaign, new combat vests and perk system for customizing your multiplayer operator. There you go. We've heard previously that combat vests were going to be a thing and that Dead Silence or the Ninja perk was going to be tied into one of those vests. So, yeah, there you go. That's confirming that leak. A new tax stance movement, which is going to be the leak that we heard previously that you can tax sprint, but you can also recharge your tax sprint by continuing to move, essentially. So it's going to allow rushers to rush a little bit more. And new aftermarket parts for unparalleled blacksmith customization and more. So they're going to be continuing to expand upon Gunsmith. One access point for your future Call of Duty content, starting with Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone, and now with Modern Warfare 3 and beyond. Players can navigate all of their content in one place. We call it the Call of Duty headquarters, making it easier to select the game modes you wish to play. And new additions to the Rico Chet anti-cheat. They're also going to be giving us, apparently, tomorrow a roadmap right from the start. That's definitely interesting of post launch live seasons and additional new content. So there you guys have it again. The reveal is going to be tomorrow. We're going to be having this event within Warzone. That's going to be kind of teasing things. And then, of course, we're going to be getting trailers and probably more blog posts and maybe some dev interviews and things like that. We've seen these reveals year after year. But Modern Warfare 3, like I've said before, is definitely one of the biggest question marks I think we've ever had in the COD franchise because it sounds like a giant update. It sounds like more of an expansion, a DLC as compared to a complete premium release, which they were sure to mention that buzzword several times there in the blog post. They're talking about the game like it's going to be its own full game. It's going to stand on its own feet. I think they even said that in the blog post as well. Well, based on what we know so far, all the Modern Warfare 2 weapons are carrying over and all the maps from Modern Warfare 2 2009 are going to be in the game as well. So it's like, OK, well, it's going to stand on its own two feet, but it sounds like it's really going to be more of like a best of COD. It's going to be just bringing back a bunch of old stuff while continuing 
continuing what we saw in Modern Warfare 2 this year. I mean, that doesn't sound too bad, but just it's definitely interesting, and I have to wonder how exactly it's going to play out. But I suppose there's not really a ton of need for me to sit here and speculate and whatnot, because in less than 24 hours' time, at the time of this video being recorded, we're going to know all the answers. We're going to see the reveal. We're going to play through the event. I will be streaming the event over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash near cinema. And then after I do the reveal event and we see the trailer and we talk about all that, of course, I will be making videos here for the YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, here we are, guys, less than 24 hours away from actually learning official details about Modern Warfare 3 as compared to just relying on industry insiders, leaks and rumors and things like that. It's about damn time, man. It's about time we started marketing their own game. So yeah, stay tuned for all the news, all the videos, all the live streams and stuff like that. I'll keep you guys up to date as we learn more and as all these news stories develop. But for right now, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.